Day one is sort of, uh, you start out, there's a parade route. I think it's going to be a little bit of a circus. All the teams are together. Um, and, and then the race starts, and the first 50 miles are, real, are the longest sustained climb of the whole ride. It's about 5,000 feet of climbing. So I think that'll get some of the teams spread out fairly quickly. Um, then we drop down into the desert. It's going to be hot and you know you're you're just getting going and you're trying to maintain a, a balanced pace because you know you have to go another six and a half seven days well you have to put this in perspective these guys are going to be racing for about six and a half days they're going to race three thousand miles we calculated out that they have to ride approximately 112 115 miles per 24 hour period but it's continual so uh, they just have to keep going we have blocks of three hour riding times versus three hours of not on the bike and so it's very difficult, very hard to do, very mentally taxing. It's an amazing high, every set of eyes is watching you and it feels like you're just on stage. So you just go as hard as you can go, no matter even if, the, if you think you're going to start the race at an 80% effort, you end up going 110. So it's a, it's a, what happens in the range of emotions is you're high, then you settle, and the first night you make it through it, with almost no problem, you don't even miss the sleep. Through all my years of athleticism, at this age I feel the most mentally competent to be doing something like this. I have realized that although I've trained a ton, I feel more, more at peace with uh, just keeping focus on the task at hand for the next uh, seven days. And the composite crew is pretty amazing. I've never seen anybody just put together 20 people that took a week off of their life or two weeks off of their life. The bus to the white van. Give me an idea from here about how many miles uh, I'm going to switch a uh, rider with you. Their success will be based on organizational skills, maturity, durability, nutrition. The riding actually comes last. You guys are just pretending it's a Chinese fire drill, so everybody, we're going to get the rider out, we're going to put them on the road. And it's up to you guys to figure out what the hell you're doing. Right now, this is it. This is, a, I mean, it can be a great dry run. And then what also happens is you talk about the emotions. And I, in all my training sessions with the team, I talk about how the masseuses or the navigators will become the mother hen to the rider and will actually take care of the rider as if, you know, oh, please, let me help you. Let me take your shoes off. Here's your helmet. Wear your gloves. Let me help you. It's just, you nurture. Everybody becomes nurturing. This kind of this race kind of takes you down to the core of, hey, let me take care of you. And then what's neat is the crew gets inspired. So the people that benefit as much as the riders, if not more, are the crew. The crew gets to go on this massive undertaking. They get to see the best terrain they've ever seen. Um, they, they get to be part of a very motivational experience. They get juiced by seeing every rider just go as hard as they can every ride, 24 hours a day. Guys just coming out, of, just waking up from a dead sleep to jumping on the bike and going 25 miles an hour. They're gonna see these guys and go, wow, I should work out more. Mucho on three. One, two, three. Mucho! You cannot ask for a better seat than this. I just like seeing them race. You know, I like seeing them pedaling and going like heck. I mean, that's what it's all about. They don't really know how far that other guy's ahead of them. You know? This is the big thing for the valley. Hey, all right! Yeah, right through your town, right in front of your house, professional sports. It's great. Turn a regular day into an all right day, man. Across America from Aptitude Sports and Entertainment. Yeah!